Hello, this is Yannis Varoufakis with an end of the year message on behalf of everyone at DiEM25, our pan-European democracy in Europe movement, to all of you. This year's festivities come in the midst of a genocide that will stigmatize a whole generation. Yes, at this time of year, like throughout the year, we must look after our loved ones, celebrate their achievements, take care of our nearest and dearest who need our attention. But we can't celebrate freely while thousands of children are being slaughtered in the Holy Land with the full complicity of our European Union. Our leaders, from von der Leyen to Olaf Scholz and Emmanuel Macron, even the European party of the left, are being criminally complicit. And by the way, so are we, by association, to the extent that we let them. Ever since the 7th of October, when Hamas broke out of the Gaza prison camp, as every Palestinian has a duty to, but with acts of atrocious violence that can never be justified. Since then, the entire European political class has behaved as morally superior to both Palestinians and Israelis, when in truth it was Europe that has been responsible for centuries-long antisemitism, for the Holocaust, and since the 1920s, the Nakba, the steady, systematic ethnic cleansing of Palestinians. An ethnic cleansing which today unfolds as a fully-fledged genocide by not intervening to stop the slaughter in Gaza, in the West Bank, but also in Yemen, in Ukraine, in Syria, in Kashmir. Europe is proving that human rights are to us that which the Bible was to the Spanish Inquisition. A cover, a veneer of ethicality with which to cover up our European settler imperialist society's utter brutality. We Europeans have lost sight of a terrible fact. Human rights are precisely that which Europe and the United States never intended to grant the oppressed to those who needed them in the Middle East, in Africa, in Asia, but also in our depressed working class areas in Europe, in Britain, in the United States, in the West. The whole Western litany about human rights is a sham. It is only an excuse to bomb, to shoot and to violate those who actually need human rights. And to do this to them while pretending that we are somehow morally superior. What is happening today in Gaza, in Kashmir, in Yemen, in Syria, in Nagorno-Karabakh will determine our capacity as Europeans to live freely in our own countries in Europe. To live without fear of oppression or indignity here in Greece, in Germany, in France, in Spain, in Portugal, in Britain, in Ireland. As Julian Assange continues to rot away in solitary in Britain's Guantanamo for having dared to expose to us the crimes of our governments committed in our name against our interest, our right to know has been shattered why the European Union continues to fund the few who have more money than they know what to do with, while starving the many and refusing to fund the green transition without which there will be no future. Our own societies are being poisoned spiritually and our species survival becomes less likely. With the toxification of our politics and our planet proceeding so swiftly, it is easy to lose hope, to give up, no longer to look up. But this is not inevitable. DiEM25 proves, by our very existence, our activism, that a democratic, compassionate and radically progressive Europe is not just possible, but that it is here, in DiEM25, in our political parties, MENA25, here in Greece, in Germany, in Italy, soon in other countries. Next June, Europe is going to be staging another sham European Parliament election. We, DiEM25 and MERA25, our political parties, are going to be running. Not because the European Parliament can change anything in itself, but because your voice must resonate in its chamber. It must be amplified in there so that it can be heard loud and clear out there, across Europe, so that our voices, your voices, can expose our ruler's lies and hypocrisy. To resonate in there as a first step towards liberating your voices so that they can, together, become a surge of reason and humanism. A surge that reclaims our continent, our countries, our cities, our villages, our neighborhoods. From whom? 
from the oligarchy, who feast on humanity and nature in the interest of profit, and of course, from exporting arms, weapons, to their former colonies. In this struggle to raise hell in the European Parliament on behalf of heaven, and therefore to save our souls, our species, our planet, we need your help. Your support has been central, essential, in keeping DiEM25 alive in terms of our operations, the spirit of our democracy, our mission, our campaign. DiEM25 has been for years now fueled by uncommon people like your good self. People who demand a different, peace-loving Europe. A Europe whose prosperity is common and divorced from the logic of profit. For that, our resolve and our commitment must walk hand in hand. Only so will we turn this bogus sham of an election for the European Parliament into a useful campaign. Our political parties, Mera 25, are geared to do exactly that. So on this holiday season, we ask you to stand with us again. Your contribution can make all the difference. Together, we can bring DiEM25's message, voice, to the floor of the European Parliament. That won't change Europe by itself. But it will give Europeans a chance, a shot, at reclaiming the right to know and to be heard. An important opportunity to empower the many, not the few. In the process, and since this is the festive season, let me add that as DiEM25 has proven in all our get-togethers, we can do this we can do what is right by Europeans and by the world and by the planet while having fun as well. So, a happy holiday season for everyone. Carpe diem.